students uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to deploy your MVC application on App Harbor so to do this first of all you have to uh, create your account on github uh, and create a repository so let's start with that okay I'm going to create a new repository I will name it as gradebook app and uh, make sure to initialize it with VL Studio, jitignore and create a repository uh, now here uh, in the clone or download option uh, copy this URL and go to your uh, github software uh, in the left corner create plus and you will be having three options add create clone uh, in the clone option you will see your gradebook app repository created uh, on github so select it and uh, click clone gradebook app so it will ask you for a physical location on your machine so I'm gonna select desktop uh, it will clone the application Okay, now this is this is the folder created uh, as according to our repository on GitHub. Uh, so copy all your code regarding your application. Um, this is our MVC gradebook application uh, which we followed during the lecture. So I'm going to move this application to GitHub and uh, App Harbor so make sure to select this solution file everything uh, created uh, needs to be moved to github so copy all this and paste it here so uh, now there are two tabs history and changes when you click changes uh, you will see all the new files added uh, so give a commit message I will say moving code to JIT and commit to master after that uh, we will uh, press synchronize and it will now I will press synchronize and it will actually upload the code to github we go to github and refresh this and you can see this solution file uh, this was the initial file uh, when the project was created and this is mvc gradebook.xs everything that we have committed from uh, our local machine is now on github.com okay now open appharbor.com first if you don't have the account create your account then go to and verify your account then you will have this uh, your applications button available here so click your applications create a new app name gradebook all right uh, now click configure you don't have to deploy app harbor okay it will list down all the repositories on your github account so from here uh, select gradebook app which we recently moved and click add uh, wait for like 10 seconds and now it's back on the previous screen and this uh, spinner shows that uh, your code is being uh, built and deployed so it is just in the build process uh, when the build is complete uh, there will be a button to deploy your application uh, we'll see that uh, let's wait for a moment
right uh, the build is complete and now you can see there is a button available to deploy the application so click on deploy and now it says that it the build is queued for deployment uh, and this uh, link over here will provide you the link to your application if I open this in the new tab you will see this welcome to NGX uh, so you have to wait for like two three minutes and then your application will be completely deployed so uh, wait let's wait for the deployment to be completed alright uh, now we can see that the deploy button is changed to active and it's also showing here that this uh, commit is being deployed and active so let's go to this page and press control press F5 and you can see that uh, our application is being live uh, now let's uh, move towards the SQL server part uh, in your application on App Harbor click add-ons uh, scroll down and you can find SQL Server click see more and click in this one yoke to install so now this SQL Server is being associated with our application click here on the SQL Server and click go to SQL Server okay um, initially you have to click this reset password button once okay now try connecting this database with your SQL Server Management Studio um, in the server name provide this host name in the username copy this username here in the password copy this password here and try connecting alright uh, this is now connected and if we expand the database and we can see here this uh, database created uh, we cannot rename this applic this database and there are currently no tables here so if you have an existing database and you want to move all the data and the schema of your database to this database to do this uh, connect to your local database uh, my local database lies in here I'll connect to it and I have this gradebook uh, database here I will go to tasks generate scripts next uh, select specified tables select all tables uh, click next go to advanced uh, select schema and data ok and save to new query window click next Okay, all the DB uh, database has been scripted. Uh, just ignore the above two lines, delete them, and from the top here, uh, uh, just copy, copy all the script. Control A, Control C, and close this query window. In the Object Explorer, uh, click on this database. Uh, the remote database that we got from App Harbor and click on new query window and paste all the copied script here and press execute So uh, the database and data has been shifted to our remote database. I will disconnect this one. 
okay if now I refresh this you can see all these tables created here uh, now if we now we want to connect uh, our MVC application with this database instead of our local so I will open our project in Visual Studio uh, if I can open okay on desktop there will be a gradebook app you can see all these tricks are green right now uh, double click on it uh, and go to web.config Now what I'm gonna do is change the data source, uh, initial catalog, and all other and this user ID and password fields uh, as according to our remote database. So I will uh, copy this connection string. I mean, just like duplicate it and uh, keep one for the local, one for the remote, and I will comment the above one. And in the available connection string I'm going to I'm going to set this these credentials so my data source is not local it's something on remote and uh, in the initial catalog I have to provide the database name uh, this is the database name we have got from App Harbor so I'll copy this one and here I will paste it and now it's part to set the user ID and password uh, so this is my username and this is the password alright I have the thing all set now if I go to uh, github you will see uh, in the changes um, tab it's showing that I have changed something so I'll give a summary that uh, web config remote connection string commit to master and then I will synchronize it okay uh, once you check in your changes uh, to github uh, app harbor will hook this uh, this commit and it will automatically uh, try to build the latest commit so if I go to app harbor and uh, App Harbor, my applications, gradebook, and you can see that this commit is being queued and is in the process of uh, build. So, when the build is complete, I will follow the same steps and deploy this. Uh, the build is completed now. I will click on deploy, and it will take like one to two minutes to deploy the latest build. So this is being queued. Uh, all right, this latest uh, commit and build is now active. Uh, let's go and refresh here, and let's try to go to our teachers action method, and let's see if it can fetch and display some data
so uh, this page is loaded and uh, the data we have moved is now being displayed uh, so I can create a new teacher it it's it would be a bit slow because uh, it's not the actual dedicated SQL server so let's create a new teacher and being displayed so that's all for the deployment uh, watch this video and deploy your applications uh, if you have any issues you can uh, send me an email or you can comment in the video below thank you for watching